Hello everyone, for today's video, we'll be looking at mathematical modeling from 5 chapter 8. So what is a mathematical modeling? It's a representation of a system or a scenario that is used to gain qualitative or quantitative understanding of a real world problem to predict future behavior. So we use the real world problems, we translate it into mathematics to be solved. We interpret its solutions through uh, mathematical relations to describe the real-world situation and solve the, the real-world problem. Continuing over, we have the components for forming a mathematical modeling. We, got the, we identify the problem and we and continue on, we make assumptions and identify the variables from the real world. We apply mathematics to solve the problem and verify and interpret the solutions in the context of the problem. Continue on, once we refine the mathematical model and repeat the process as many times as needed. And finally, we report the findings. For the first example, we have a grocery store that is far away from your house that sells a 10 kg rice at a lower price than the one that is closer from your house. So is it worth the drive for a cheaper deal? So let's continue on. We identify and uh, define the problems. So one pack of rice and the cost... So one pack of the, of the rice and the cost of the petrol is the, uh, the variables that they will be using and the distance from two stores to your house respectively. So we can collect the relevant data such as the price of the rice from each, each of the stores, the distance from the store to your house and the current petrol price and the pet car's petrol consumption rate which is uh, being left constant. Continue on, we will make assumptions and identify the variables. For example, S will be the symbol of distance between the store A and store B. P1, the price of the 10 kg rice at store A. P2, the price of, of a 10 kg rice at store B and so on, as, in, as you can see over here. For the third step, we will apply the mathematics to solve the problem. So to, to solve this problem, we will have a store A and store B. So store A, store B. We will calculate the price to be paid. So we order two packs of it from each of the store. Store A will be 25 ringgit. And Cents. So we get the value of, we'll put the RM, RM51, ringgit and 90 cents. And then all else with uh, store B, is also two packs of it, and it's 23 ringgit and 99 cents. And we get the answer for the seven ringgit and the eight cents. Okay, continue on. We have the solution. So we can say that the purchase of the rice at store B one can save around three ringgit and ninety two cents. So we calculate assume that the store A and store B, the distance difference will be like 6 kilometers and 17.6 kilometers per liter is the petrol consumption rate and the current price of the petrol will be 2.8 cents per liter. So the 
control that is needed for a 6 km route will be as given below. Uh, 6 km divided by 17.6 km per liter, and we get 0.341 liter. So we times or we multiply it by the petrol price, and we get 1 again for the 2 cents. So we, how much do we save? So 3 again, 91, uh, 92 cents, minus 1 again, 42 cents, we get uh, 20 again, 50 cents for the purchase of 2 packs of 10 kg rice at store B. So we can use the, use the mathematics, uh, mathematical formula to solve the problem earlier. And we will use it in step 4. Will to as a uh, interpretation. So the formula will be S equals P S equals P P one minus P two uh, times N. T equals S divided by N times capital H times two. Going forward. We need to refine the mathematical formula or the refine the mathematical sorry mathematical modeling. So what so what are the other other forms of real world interventions that can come into place? So we need to make the uh, medical formula more robust. For example, we can think of one of the of it is like, can we get a negative answers? So if it gives negative answer, what does it actually mean? So basically, that's so it doesn't make sense if there's a negative value in the in the answer. So we need to consider, take that into consideration. And what if the scenario changed a bit? Will the result change a lot? For example, for example, instead of Instead of using a car, maybe you use walking as a maybe you walk instead of driving. So will the scenario will it affect the outcome? And to what extent these changes affect the decision making? So for example, the assumption is regard regarding this is the road between the house, which is our store A and store B is in a straight line. So what if the road is not straight? So it will impact the mathematical model. So new answers will be made when you try to try to put forward the uh, put forward a solution. So the model needs to be revised to reflect this change. So one of the assumptions as as mentioned as mentioned instead of a straight line, will it be possible? It will be possible. It could, there's a possibility that you can you can go in straight away to from your house to store B instead of going through store A. So this so this will change the situation and the new assumptions is being made. So the model needs to be revised and so on. And lastly, we report the findings. The use of symbols and diagrams are necessary to report the findings. So as, as shown earlier in the slide, we use symbols to as a form of representing the variables. So we to form to formulate the, the mathematical formula. So every model has its strengths and its weakness. And what is important is to identify those strengths and weakness in the report. So, in conclusion, from this example, the value of a person's time is not considered in this model. So that is one weakness. And is it worth to drive a extra twelve kilometers to save uh, two ringgit and fifty cents? So according to this model, saving the five cents is considered as worthwhile. The model did not take a, into account of any environment, environmental considerations. So is it environmentally was possible to drive extra 12 kilometers just to save a 2 ringgit and 50 cents? And it 
and lastly, it does not take into account the, the environmental efforts to reduce the carbon emission as well. So, quite you forward. We have another example, example two. Example two will be learn, will be the example of uh, bank interest. So, compound interest is an uh, interest that is calculated based on the original principle, which is the original money you save in your bank, and your savings that your savings increase increase with the with the allocated interest by the by the they set by the bank. So, the accumulated interest from the previous previous of the savings at the beginning of the year, we just create a client named Mr. Gomez. So he saves two twenty thousand in his savings account with an interest rate of four percent per annum, and the interest is compounded once a year. So we will derive a mathematical model with his uh, total savings after t years of savings. So we need to solve this solve this mathematics using the mathematical uh, modeling. So twenty thousand is its principal. Four percent of our annual interest in the bank, and so on. So let's do the first step: identify and define the problem. So is is given that is a compounded interest. So it's compounded once a year. So it's per annual. This is a principal. Uh, principal. The save in the bank, savings of twenty thousand. Interest rate is four percent, as mentioned earlier, and let's see how much, how many years he saved at the end using the using T symbol as to represent the number of years. So, next step, we make assumptions and identify the variables. So let's just assume. And Mr. Gomez did not withdraw or raise his savings throughout the period savings. So it stays at 20,000 throughout the year. Next, the variables are the, are the principal amount. So we use P as a form, use P as a assumption. The yearly interest rate as R. Number of times that is compounded is using n symbol and time is t years. So those are the assumptions that are being made. When we follow on with step three, we apply the mathematics to solve the problem. So principal time are uh, multiplied by the interest that is received. The interest is four percent. So remember to to translate into decimal point, which is zero point zero four percent before multiplying it. So at the end of the year, the interest needs to be add on with the principal, as you can see over here. And get the answer. So this is the amount of saving from the first year. And then we go to the second year, third year, we use the similar calculations. At the end we have at the end we have this we have this amount. Step four we verify and interpret the solution. So based on the table earlier, so at the end of every month, the amount of savings is to the power of 1.4%. Uh, 1 so 1.4 times the principal of 20,000 and corresponding to the number of years, we can come up with a new formula, which A as an amount of the number of years. P, the principal, Oops. 
P as a principal, which is 20,000, multiplied by the interest. So as you can see, as you can see, if you put it into the graph, you can see that it is it is not a simple uh simple interest. Simple interest line will be will be linearly progress uh will be a linear progression. But this one is an exponential progression. So we got so you can see that we got it uh got it correctly. But you onwards we find the mathematical modeling. So this formula is used for annual compounding, but in reality, interest is often compounded more towards quarterly or semi-annually. So is it possible to calculate money? Yes, we can do that. So for the compounded, so let's assume the it's annually. So it has 12 months. And we and we divide it by 12. Then we can get the monthly money interest instead. So one over twelve is is being applied each month, and t is going to be multiplied by twelve instead. As it's being counted calculated twelve times in a year. So a new uh, mat mathematical formula is formed as a as a refined mathematical model. So the amount equals to the principal multiplying by the by the interest remember to divide it by 12 over uh, 12 multiplied by t so we can refine the model model as annual as a 12 uh, times 12 is uh, annual and times 3 as a quarter and every half a month you can put it at 6 so we can replace the the value as n state. This one is n t, just for clarification. Lastly, we will need to write the write the report for the, of the findings. This one I will leave it to you all to comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.